Hello and welcome to Bespoke Unit. My name is Rafael and in this video I'm going to be doing an in-depth review of the Seiko 5 Sports SRPE 77. Now the SRPE 77 as I have it right here in front of me is marked by a steel case construction, ice blue dial and in this particular case a stainless steel mesh bracelet. Anyways, there's a ton more details to get into so let's get started with the review. And here we can see it on my wrist, the Seiko 5 Sports SRPE 77. Excuse me, I just don't have its size, so I gotta hold it. But you can see there, it does stand a little bit tall on the wrist. Nevertheless, head on like this, it doesn't look like a massive watch. It's not small, of course, but still looks great. And I think it looks very, very formal with this bracelet, the Milanese. Um, I've heard it be called shark skin bracelet, super comfortable. I'll get into that in a little bit, but as a package, these colors, the dial, bezel, and bracelet, it's really a very beautiful timepiece. So let's get into the details. Now the dimensions here are gonna be 42.5 in diameter. It's slightly difficult to get an exact measure there because of the crown guards, but I do think that's about right. 46 lug to lug. Yep, yeah, maybe a little bit less here. But again, not a small watch and thickness. 13.4, looks like a little bit less here. Let's make sure I'm getting the center of the watch. Yeah, that sounds about right. And lastly, the strap size, 22. Looking a bit closer at this case, we do have the traditional Seiko 5 Sports case, which obviously inherited a lot of its looks from the historic, if you will, <laughs> the beloved SKX. And we it does keep the brushed and polished theme throughout. You can see the sides are polished, the top is brushed. Both of the crown guards are brushed seal throughout. Same on the other side. And there is a nice, on all these pieces, and I do like to point it out, I think it's worth it. Um, there is a nice bevel up here, and you can see it here. It does blend in nicely, so it's not too distracting. However, it does add a bit of visual complexity that I find super, super appealing. The diver's bezel here, of course, unidirectional and knurled on the edge there, so you can get a grip without an issue. Now, something to note, and I was surprised that I didn't see it advertised anywhere, but this bezel, whereas other divers, and I do have a comparison here, this bezel is like a metal insert, whereas here on the SRP 77, it seems to be sapphire. I'm assuming it's not sapphire. It's probably hardlex, as the crystal is here. So it's a scratch resistant hardlex but it's very, very cool. It adds a great amount of depth. You can see that the minute markings are contrasting, aside from the fact that there's complete minute markings throughout, whereas the traditional divers just have up to the 20, not the case here, so very different, very unique. And those are points that um, I didn't see mentioned really anywhere so I couldn't really I have no idea what the material is I just know it looks great and I was almost disappointed I, I'm the kind of uh, collector that does like to know everything um, so I'm just gonna have to assume here that that's hard legs or maybe even plastic but all I know is it looks great taking a closer look at the dial here we can see that the watch does say made in Japan and usually these made in Japan um, Seiko 5 sports models will have a reference that um, is something like SBSA, you know, and then three numbers, SBSA, one, two, three, as an example. Um, for this specific watch, I really couldn't find it online. So I'm going with SRP 77, which is um, that type of reference. Again, the SRP versus SBSA. SRP usually entails a piece that's made outside of Japan. Now I did see 
plenty of models like this one, again, being sold under that same reference, um, the SRPE reference, which I think could work to the advantage of a collector. Often the SBSA models will command a, a price premium just because, you know, collectors often like buying a watch that's, that says made in Japan if it's a Japanese brand like Seiko. So I think there's a great opportunity here to, uh, to get a pretty good deal. Anyways, continuing on, let's check out the bracelet here. And we can see it's incredibly pliable, still sturdy. It does have a little, does move a little bit more than anything. It's here at the lug rather than the links themselves, where you can see there's a little play. I think all these factors make it a super, super comfortable watch to wear. Um, you can see I have quite a hairy wrist. Though I've worn this bracelet multiple times and for extended periods of time. And I have yet to have a pinched hair. So that's probably one of the factors that, have made, that has made it one of my favorite um, bracelet types that you see in the Seiko Fart 5 sports line. Again, there's this oyster style. But I think this Milanese is uh, it's super shiny tons of facets for, for light to, to reflect off of and gives it a really great look. This is the clasp mechanism. You essentially have to lift this metal piece and then move it up and then, or move it up or down depending on your size wrist and then it's set. And we can see here the other side, that's gonna be brushed steel, of course, with the branding. Now, looking at the case back. This is going to be a see-through case back. Um, again, the material isn't mentioned. I do believe I forgot to say the crystal on this piece is Hardlex, which is going to be scratch resistant, not as scratch resistant as you'd get with a sapphire, more expensive sapphire crystal, though nevertheless, it gets the job done. I would imagine this case back isn't more like, uh, I guess it could be Hardlex. you also want those uh, scratch resistant properties and shadow resistant properties here on the back though. Obviously the back of the watch is much less likely to take hits. The movement that you see there is the Seiko 4R36. Once more, we do have made in Japan there printed. Just to remind you, and the finishing on the, the movement isn't, you know, it's obviously not high horology level with the price point, but I think it's quite, it's simple, it's attractive. It does have a bit of texture here on some of the bridges, even here on the automatic winding rotor. So I think it looks great. As far as specs, this movement, obviously you can see the rotor there. It's an automatic self-winding watch. It has 41 hours power reserve and the accuracy is plus 45 minus 45 seconds per day. One more thing, you can wind this. So this case, or this crown, excuse me, is not screwed down. So you can see here, I'm winding it both ways and it obviously doesn't screw down into the case. What that means is that the water resistance only goes up to 10 bar. That's 100 meters or 330 feet. Most people haven't been that deep diving or otherwise. So I think um, for the convenience that you get with a um, being able to wind the watch here at Precision Zero, it's a perfect trade-off. The great comparison or the eternal comparison here is the SKX, the model line that the Seiko 5 Sports is replacing, had a screw-down crown and a 200 meter water resistance. So with this new updated model, updated movement, Seiko decided to trade off, and I think rightly so, they traded off the screw-down crown for these new features, which are gonna include winding here at Precision Zero. You can wind it by rotating the crown clockwise, counterclockwise, spins freely. You probably won't hear anything here versus I'm hoping that came through on the camera. And another aspect of this upgraded movement check out the hand at center there, is the fact that we have what's called hacking seconds. So this allows you to change the time. You can see that the seconds hand stop. No, the watch isn't broken. 
but what it does allow you to do is to set the time super, super accurately. Then go back in and it gets to tick in again. One last thing you can see here on this SRPE 77 that the date has two languages. So English, Monday, Luna, Spanish. And now, um, by the way, if you're wondering how to set the date on here, always make sure that if you're changing, you're using this function to change the date or the date that it's not between the hours of, I believe it's 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. So let's make sure I'm a little bit further and go back to precision one clockwise changes the day counterclockwise the date. So again, pretty simple, incredibly convenient watch to use and a really beautiful one to wear. There you have it. That's our review of the Seiko 5 Sports SRPE 77. Now, if that review left you with any questions or comments, make sure to leave them in the section below. Like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more wristwatch and men's lifestyle content. Once more, I'm Rafael. This is Bespoke Unit. Thanks for watching.